Our exclusive interview with the wife of the California attorney who died while vacationing in Mexico, sharing new details about what happened that night and why she thinks he was killed. Our chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, has the story. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Robin. Kim Williams and Elliot Blair were both lawyers at the Public Defender's Office in Orange County, California. They had it all planned out. They had bought a house. They were planning on having two kids. And they went to a resort in Mexico to celebrate their one-year anniversary when Elliot suffered a mysterious death. Now, Mexican authorities ultimately concluded that this was an accident, but Kim and her attorney now insist that Elliot was murdered. We have to warn you that some of the images you're about to see are graphic. He, he, he was my rock, my everything. This morning, the wife of California public defender, Elliot Blair, breaking her silence about the mystery surrounding her husband's death in a Mexican resort last month. I still can't go in a bed. I can't, I sleep on the couch because the last time I was in a bed, I was woken up to find my husband dead. Elliot and his wife, Kimberly Williams, were celebrating their one-year wedding anniversary at Rosarito's Las Rocas Resort when Elliot was found dead in the middle of the night. When police arrived, did you ask what happened? Did they tell you what happened? Accident, suicide, gunshot wound. It was a roller coaster. Suicide. Yeah. Suicide. It's just, I mean, everything under the sun, except for what I think happened. Someone did this to him. Local authorities later concluding that Elliot drunkenly fell from the resort's low balcony seen in these photos. But his wife, Kim, believes something much more sinister happened. That last day together, she says they woke up late, got massages, had a margarita by the beach while watching the sunset. I just remember him telling me how beautiful I looked that night. They then grabbed dinner at a local restaurant and finally went to dance. This is the last video Kim has of Elliot. But on their way back to the resort, Kim says they were pulled over by the Rosarito Beach police who claimed they rolled through a stop sign. Elliot has always told me when we go down there to kind of not engage. He'll handle whatever needs to be said with them. Kim says the cops asked them for money. Elliot had said, had told him, we don't have the amount of cash that you want. And then the other officer came up and started talking to us, you know, where are you staying? And Elliot told them that we were staying at Las Rocas, that we were down here for vacation. She says they kept asking for money. Elliot got, kind of stood his ground, showed him his work badge and said, look, we're attorneys. We're not down here to mess around, but we're also not gonna be taken advantage of. Did you not have the cash that they wanted? We didn't have the amount they wanted. Between the two of them, Kim says they emptied their wallets and paid the officers $160 before being let go. We were both rattled, but at the same time, we both had this feeling of, thank God they didn't do anything more to us. They drove back to Las Rocas and hung out at the lobby bar before heading back to their room. I put on my pajamas, we turned the TV on, and I got in bed, and he went to take a shower. Then I fell asleep. What's the next thing you remember? Two people in my room waking me up, a security guard and the hotel manager in my room. And they're saying, excuse me, miss, excuse me, excuse me. Is this your boyfriend down here? I ran out the front door and they're pointing over the side of our front door area to the ground. That was my Elliot down there. I just was yelling at them to call an ambulance, call an ambulance, call an ambulance. They said an ambulance came an hour ago. The family lawyer tells us Elliot viewed a video on Instagram at 12.35 a.m. And then just 15 minutes later, according to 911 calls obtained by ABC News, at 12.50 a.m., the resort called to report a person who apparently suffered a fall. 20 minutes later, paramedics arriving on the scene concluding that Elliot Blair had no vital signs. Two days later, the Attorney General of Baja, California, stating that the amount of alcohol found in Blair's body was considerable. How many drinks do you think that Elliot had that night? Five or six drinks. 11.30 would have been the last drink at the hotel, which was a margarita. In my nine years of being with him and knowing him, I can tell you I've never seen him sloppy. I've not 
seen him not be able to walk and care for himself. The family believes these photos of Elliot's injuries to his arms and legs, which they requested be shared, tell a story that isn't a drunken fall. They consulted biomechanics expert Dr. Rami Hashish. There's bruising marks on the body. Uh, there's indications of potential being dragged on the front of the body. There's fractures to the back of the skull. Um, nothing really points to the fact that it was necessarily an accident. Their lawyer pushing for answers. Kim and her family need answers to, to bring closure to this so they can really start moving on from it. And Kim determined to honor Elliot's memory. Why did you decide to do this interview now? I want the world to know who my, my R. Elliot is. I want to make sure he's remembered. It was brave of her to speak with us. Now, ABC News consulted two independent forensics pathologists to review that autopsy. They came to different conclusions. A Mexican pathologist said that the injuries in those images appeared consistent with a fall. An American pathologist looked at the same images and said that looks like a homicide. Now, the family has commissioned its own autopsy. They say the results should be ready in about five or six weeks.